Neutrophils make up the vast majority of white cells in the blood. These cells, along with monocytes, can engulf microbes by a process called phagocytosis. Monocytes can migrate out of blood vessels into various tissues and differentiate into a few cell types, including macrophages. Like monocytes and neutrophils, macrophages are also phagocytic. This scanning electron micrograph shows a macrophage using long membrane extensions to engulf bacteria. Macrophages are the cells most likely to make first contact with invading pathogens. They have two functions. As part of innate immunity, they kill invaders directly, taking them in using phagocytosis. Protrusions from the macrophage surface extend and clasp nearby bacteria, pulling them into the cell. The resulting vesicle is called a phagosome. A lysosome, which is a vesicle full of digestive enzymes, can fuse with the phagosome. Inside the resulting phagolysosome, the enzymes cleave macromolecules and generate reactive oxygen species, destroying the organism. The remnants of the bacterium will be disposed of, but before that happens, the macrophage performs its second function, which is an adaptive immunity. Membrane protein structures made in the cell called major histocompatibility complexes participate in the first step of adaptive immunity. Small bacterial peptides serve as antigens that can be placed on the major histocompatibility complex. The complex is then delivered to the cell surface, where other cells of the immune system can bind to the displayed antigen and become activated. Thus, macrophages are considered antigen-presenting cells.